one thing that I don't do as often as I would like to is to go through and look at the Rails change logs because there's a lot of information that's good to know as you are upgrading to different versions of Rails and a lot of times there's just so much information in here that it's easy to overlook certain things. And one of the things I came across recently was partial inserts that's now disabled by default in new applications. And this is one of those things that is pretty easy to overlook and to quickly repass. But if we have a deeper look into this, there's actually a lot going on underneath the hood. And so in this episode, I want to have a look at this partial inserts and what it means for our Rails 7 applications. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.